Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, <clears throat> today, I wanted to do a little video about a book I read that, for some reason, I can't find anything wrong with. Um, not that that's the only reason why I look, but there was just nothing wrong with the book. <clears throat> and um, if you haven't seen the title of the video, um, I'm talking about Harry Whittington's um, A Ticket to Hell. Now, um, if you remember way back when I did um, a video on A Night for Screaming, which I thought was just a perfect crime um, thriller, I guess you would call it. Um, and Harry Wintington's stuff is like, I've said it before, like the pace, the plotting, everything he does is perfect and why he is not a household name I just do not understand like for the life of me um, the other authors for those of you who don't know um, Harry Winnington's um, one of those old um, 50s and 60s uh, crime novelists um, in the paperback original era. And out of all the people who came out of that, um, the fact that he isn't known is just, like, he's known. Because, like, back in the day, he was considered the king of the paperbacks. Um, I'm sure... The number of novels he's written is well over 200 and plus um, in all different kinds of genres. He even did a lot of um, stuff under house names for different book series and stuff like that. But um, it just like boggles my mind. Like I wonder if he was just kind of like a shit guy to get along with, or um, if he rubbed people the wrong way, like in person with publishers and authors and stuff like that. Because, um, or it might be one of those things where like there's a group of people and there's one that's better than all the rest but all these other ones are still good, and they're like, you know what, if we get rid of who's it's, um, it might work for our legacy better. You know, like, I'm sure that conversation never happened, but you get the idea. Um, so let's get to the book. Um, the book starts off, we're, we're hanging out with this dude named Rick, okay, and um, he's speeding through the desert in a Porsche straight from New York. Um, hasn't slept. Uh, he's on edge, you know. And he's got to he's got to get to this motel in New Mexico and wait for a phone call. Very very mysterious stuff. And. Um, there are a couple plots that um, go through this book. And <clears throat> the main plot, the reason why he's there and all that, I'm not going to tell you because that's part of the fun of this book. It Like, you get little bits of it as the book goes um, in perfect plotting fashion. Like, um... The heater just came on. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. And now we wait. 
I don't even know. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. It'll turn off in a second here. I can just keep running my... I can't think of a way to say it that wasn't horribly offensive. So the main plot is something that we will get to know um, as the story goes on. But the um, subplot, which actually, when you're reading it, it almost becomes the plot and the subplot. Or, I mean, and the plot plot becomes a subplot. I don't even know how to describe it. But... Um, there is a woman in peril, and against his better judgment, he gets involved. And this just causes a whole big world of um, shit for Rick, as it would. Um, there it is. So it makes, it complicates matters. And um, with any... Harry Whittington book, like, when you pick it up, okay, they say, or at least I say, um, if a book doesn't grab you, like, as soon as you start reading it, um, what's the point? And this book, the first chapter of this book is him in the desert in the Porsche. He sees a hitchhiker. He picks him up. He knows the hitchhiker's up to no good, but he doesn't have um, any time to deal with his BS. And as what happens when you pick up a hitchhiker in the desert, the hitchhiker pulls a gun on him, and um, he does some stuff and gets rid of this kid. Um, and... It's just like, man, you, you can't win for losing, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of, at least in the books of his that I've read, that's kind of the ongoing theme. Like, no matter what you do, no matter how nice you are to somebody, um, no matter what, shit's gonna happen. And it's probably going to get stuck to the bottom of your shoe. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this book hasn't been, um, like, you know, when you find like a classic, it'll be put out by every publisher every couple of years for now until the end of time. This book, I think, originally came out with gold medal, gold medal faucet. Um, or Fawcett Gold Medal. Gold Medal Fawcett was my publishing company a while back. Um, so Fawcett Gold Medal. And um, then, um, so that was probably uh, you know, 50s. I think it was like in the 800s, so it might even have been 60s. Um, and then um, Black Lizard put it out, I believe, in the 80s. And then um, 280 Steps put it out in the, uh, like, probably close to like eight years ago or something like that. And the um, 280 Steps, and I really wish that imprint would have lasted. Um, I just loved how they, um, the artwork, like the, the Risa Rodil cover on this book. It's not her best cover, but, um, it's just beautiful. And that's where I, um, came across this book. And, um, honestly, where I came across Harry Whittington in general, um, is 280 steps. But, uh... Anyway, like, I cannot recommend this book highly enough. Um, I've been reading a lot of stuff lately, and luckily for me, a lot of the stuff I've been reading has been good. I finished this book last night, 
and it's just like you could eat steak every day of the week and it's delicious you know but man I'm telling you if you get a bacon wrap filet mignon all of a sudden all that other steak was just meat on a plate you know what I'm saying so um, do yourself a favor you could find um, copies of this all over the place probably not let me rephrase that if you have the money to pay for a paperback copy of this, you can find it all over the place. Um, I've seen anywhere prices from like 10 to almost 200 bucks, depending on which one you want. And actually, um, I did see on Amazon, there's a company around 2000 who put it out with think fires that destroy um i'll put a little picture of it um up here if i find it but um so there have been a few different um releases of this book but i mean seriously like this book only coming out like once every 15 to 20 years is depressing like it, i don't know like Everyone should be reading this guy. Everyone. Like, it should be taught in school. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, I'll get off my soapbox now. But um, if you saw my video the other day, you heard me talking about how when I watch your guys' videos and you have your bookcases full of books and it's just so warm and comforting to see that. Um... And I don't really have that right now, um, being here. So I've been reading a lot of ebooks, and over the years, um, I've been collecting ebooks, um, either buying them, um, going to archive.org, getting some, or um, more nefarious ways to get a hold of stuff that I can't find anywhere. And um, I was looking on my computer. I have like over seven gigs of ebooks on my computer so i have a lot of reading um to do and i still have tons of books here um but not as many as i would like to see when we finally do move we're gonna probably do unboxing videos of the books that we packed because we we were talking the other night and we kept like hitting uh, like oh dude we have that book oh my gosh I totally forgot I had that book so um, opening boxes of books that we packed two years ago is going to be like Christmas morning so um, that'll be fun so um, anyway Harry Whittington I don't know what his deal was. I don't know if he rubbed people the wrong way. I don't know if people just wanted to push him out, but dude's a legend. So if you haven't started reading him yet, stop everything you're doing. Because when I was reading this book, I would read, like I read it in a day, but it, like I had to pace it because I kept finding myself, like I'd be reading it and I'd realize that I wasn't breathing because I was so, like, caught up in the tension of the moment. And then I would gasp and go, oh, and, like, put it down, walk away, get a cup of coffee, do something, and then, like, go back to it. And then I'd find myself doing the exact same thing the next chapter. Um, so... Uh, I just, I can't stress the importance of this dude enough. So, read him, and that'll do it. So, let me know down below. Oh, let me know. Let me know, actually, down below, if you know any, like, personal information about Harry Whittington, or, like, any books where you were like, oh, yeah, in this book it says that... Um, not only did, like, he shoot heroin at, like, um, 
parties with other authors, but he used to beat up all the other authors and then sleep with their wives, like stuff like that. So I could get an idea as to why this guy kind of just vanished, um, and was only remembered in like niche circles, you know, um, because dude's a legend. So see you later.